In our latest Where You Live series, we explore the community of New Valley. Some residents will readily admit there's no well-known landmark there or stunning scenic spots that attract tourists in any way. But as KITV 4's Kenny Choi found out, the valley has kept its folksy charm thanks in part to a community committed to keeping it that way. Drive towards Hawaii Kai from Diamond Head and you'll find a place nestled between Kulio'o and Aina Haina. If you blink your eyes too quick, you'll miss it. This is New Valley. And on this Wednesday night, music and worship fill the air at King's Chapel Church. While just down the street, women come together to share the rhythm and cadence of hula. And like the soft movements of dancers, this community is also harmonious and tightly knit. Until you ask what the town's name actually means. New Valley stands for coconut, the coconut valley. New is not the valley. There are two valleys. There's Pia and Kupawa. And in the middle is Kulepiamoa Ridge. This whole area, though, is the Ahupua'a of Niu. Kawi Lucas is a descendant of the Lucas family, which has rich ties to this land, going all the way back to King Kamehameha I. Pia is the Hawaiian word for arrowroot, a plant. The ridge in the middle is Kulepiamoa Ridge. That is the flapping chicken. Is there an egg in there? No. Oh, no. Shucks. Laura Thompson is also a descendant of the Lucas family and lives far back in the valley. She used to roam the area on horseback with her father, Charles Lucas, who founded New Dairy, which flourished in the early 1900s. Two dairies. Um, and then it just was nothing during the war. We're going to put up 33 houses. So we moved up the valley. Lucky. Now it's very different. But I see Jack in the Boxes. <laughs> Opened last week. Yeah. So we, we're up with the times, I guess. Quite different from what it used to be. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What was once farmland is now a community of homes, churches, restaurants, and schools. I would much rather have it cows and horses. Yeah. However, I love the way it is. This is Clorinda Lucas and Charles W. Lucas. In 1961, the Lucas family gave the land to the founders of Waldorf School so they could build what they had envisioned. It's a peaceful, gentle place, and I hope that our school is uh, a positive contribution to the whole ethos of the area. While education attracts families to the area, what drives the local economy here is the New Valley Shopping Center, which is owned by King's Chapel Church. It has an array of eateries from fast food to fine dining at Le Bistro. Oh, Alan, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Thanks for coming. Executive chef and owner Alan Takasaki is the mainstay here. And we're just going to try and work it in. Takasaki started washing dishes some 30 years ago. This is where I grew up. I mean, I grew up in the valley, one, one valley over. And uh, I went Kulio to Kulio'o. And I went to uh, New Valley Intermediate. And then all the kids would come, come to the shopping center after school and, sure. you know, get your, uh, get your icy. He always dreamed of opening up a restaurant and finally got that chance a week and a half before 9-11. The community rallied around us, and they, we found out later a lot of them would say that they used to come in because they felt sorry for us. It's very close-knit. It's uh, very supportive. Close-knit, supportive. It's no surprising residents will tell you the most important thing in New Valley is who lives here. It's a very quiet community, um, very tender-hearted people that you can tell. They just love this place. They love their community. It's a very, very special, it has a special mana to it, a special spirit to it, and you can see that in the interactions with the people. Certainly a special place, and some residents in the new area are also working to preserve some of the fish ponds that once thrived there. You'll want to see the before and after pictures, and that part of the story, you can tune in tomorrow on KITV4 Morning News to see what that's all about. Yanji Paul, let's send it back to you.
Ooh, fascinating. I'd love to see this. So great. And I always love these Where You Live pieces mm -hmm. to see the then and now. Mm -hmm. Thinking of Neo Valley as a dairy and how much it has changed since then. So much.